If elected, I would be an outspoken opponent of eminent domain. I will always stand up for the private property rights of individuals and families. And I really have a hard time of thinking any instance where it would be justified for government to come in and condemn land uh, because that's the people's land and we need to protect those private property rights. Eminent domain is a very, very uh, hot issue at the State House with the uh, Rock Island Green Line being proposed to go across the state of Iowa, about through the middle of the state. Now we're about to face the same problems down in this area as a pipeline is coming across. I don't favor uh, uh, eminent domain for private use. And that's something that I think that we're mixing up here. And we're going to need some clarification of, are these projects in the public good, or are they simply for private investors? We should not be using uh, eminent domain for private investments and private profit. But there are some cases where you need to build a road, you need to build a bridge, but if some one person could hold up that whole bridge or that whole road by not having eminent domain for the overall public good, then I think that would be wrong. So I think that the, the eminent domain laws that we have in Iowa have stood the test of time and they're working very, very well. So we must watch this uh, uh, rock out and clean line though when they go across and see if, if that's going to even need eminent domain. The power companies, the utility companies, real utility companies are afraid that they won't use eminent domain, that they'll just buy their way through and our poor uh, cooperatives can't afford to do that. Without eminent domain, we would have a very, very rough uh, electrical pattern in grid two because they need eminent domain for the public good to get electricity to our rural areas.